Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out a digital autoscope, but what makes this thing pretty special is that it comes with its own screen. And so that makes it a lot more convenient than having to connect it to your phone or just fiddling around with wires. So this would be a more professional way to go. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. All right, so this is the box that it comes in. And we got a nice little picture here that shows what's inside. And it's offered by a company called AnyKit, model number MS450-390. All right, let's see what it looks like. So it looks like there's a little foam pad on top. Let's go ahead and pull it out. And so this is what it looks like. It's actually quite nice and attractive looking. So we have quite a large screen here. And on the side, we have all the controls. Going to the top, looks like there's a hole here and I see a little USB-C plug in there. And there's a little release button. So on the bottom here, it looks like there's a little door that pops open. And we do have a micro SD card in there and another USB-C port. So this one's probably for charging and this one is for the camera communication. Pull out the SD card and see what the size of it is. So it looks like a 32 gig card is included. So here we have the back. Looks like a speaker grill here, a mounting point, a little reset button and more information about the device so obviously it is rechargeable which is very nice because it's portable all right so let's see what else is in the box it looks like we have a user manual and it has four languages here it shows us a breakdown of what all the controls do also on the back and then we have instructions on how to use the device and here we have all the specs four and a half inch screen photo and video resolution is 1080 so we have a battery life of about three to four hours and charging time is about the same all right pretty cool we've got a few more things in here we have the scope itself and it's actually a really nice metal finish and it has a little silicone strap with it so it looks like about three feet of reach here and on the tip of it we can see the camera is right in the middle around some leds so this thing is really really small which could definitely be a plus if you wanted to get into super tight places. But an ear is already quite a narrow place, especially in children's ears. All right, so we got one more baggie. And here it looks like we have all of our accessories. We have some alcohol prep pads, three ear cone attachments. Also, we get a few scoop attachments, and there's four of these. And these are to scoop like earwax and not what else out, out of the ear. All right, very cool. And here we have a USB cable that outputs type C to charge the device. All right, so let's start by connecting our probe to the control unit. And it appears to be, it doesn't matter which way it goes since it's USB-C, so anyway. And it actually clicks in there and locks it in. To release it, that's what this button's for here, this little metal button, and we can take it back out. So, so now that the probe is in, let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna hit the power button and hold it. It powers on and there it goes so it goes straight to the camera and hopefully you guys can see this there's that plant in the back now it looks like that the focus is made where it's about okay yeah so it gets quite close um, looks like about half an inch or so maybe a little closer like a quarter inch when the focus starts and then it's really good at about a half to three quarters of an inch and an inch so anything farther away than an inch from the object you're looking at starts to get blurry again if you guys can see the exposure is automatic so if we go there you can see how it brightens up or darkens now if you guys can see there's a little light that glows out of the probe here that is actually adjustable by clicking this light button here and as you click it it actually changes the brightness so it's off right now and if i click it again that's full brightness so we got three dimming modes one two and three and then it's off so, so i would say going to the mid one should be a good balance so on the screen here we can see we're in photo mode right there in the corner showing us a little icon and then we have our micro sd card and the battery life and then the date and the time here so if we so if we click this photo button here we take a picture of what it's looking at so while in camera mode if we click these up and down buttons you can see that we can rotate the image which could be quite useful okay is our enter button so let's go to the settings so we can choose the resolution and it looks like it's set to 1080 the date stamp we can turn that on and off and then the shutter sound so if we click m we'll go to the next tab here we have out of power off 
We can set that to five or 10 minutes or we can just turn it off. Here we can change the language and these are all that are available. Quite a lot of them actually. Here's where we're gonna set our date and time. We also have an option to format the SD card if we wanted to. And also we can reset the device to default settings. All right, and so that's pretty much it. That is all our settings. So the most important part is when you push M, you switch between the modes. So that was picture mode, now this is video mode. And then we have preview of what we took pictures of or made videos. So yeah, quite simple to use and very intuitive. And our power button does glow here, which looks really nice. All right, so let's grab one of these little ear cups. And so that's simply just gonna slide right over just like that. And it does go down through, so you can kind of see the tip sticking out. So for the next part, guys, I'm going to stick this in my ear so you can kind of see how it works and the quality of the video. So I'm not sure what my ear is going to look like. So if you're easily grossed out, you might want to skip this part. And also I'm going to set it to video mode and then push this shutter button. And that will start recording. We can see right there in the corner, it's recording. I'm going to go straight into my ear. And there, guys, you can see this is what my ear looks like. It doesn't look too bad. I do have some gunk in there a bit that I need to clean out. But yeah, as you can see, it's very clear and, and quite detailed. You can see every piece quite easily. So let's see if we can maybe turn the brightness down. So that's off completely. That's all the way brightness. Then a little less and a little less. It doesn't look like it makes a huge difference because it seems to compensate anyways for it. I would say medium brightness is definitely the way to go, not to overstress those tiny little LEDs. And since we're recording this, hopefully you guys can hear me through the autoscope because it does have a microphone that picks my voice up and here is the image of it straight from the SD card. So the scooper goes on the same way, it just slides over and we'll be able to scoop earwax, pull things out out of the ear that we need. So if you want to play back the video right here on the device, you just click M until we get into the videos. And here we can scroll through all the things that we took pictures of and made videos of. So let's just say we want to watch this, we'll push OK. And here we can forward it, reverse it. And you can hear somewhat of some sound out of the speaker back here. It's not great, but it is there. So yeah, quite convenient and it has a really nice picture quality. And to power off the device, we're just gonna hold the power button. Simple as that, it goes off. But yeah, overall this thing is really nice and it does what it has to do very well, which is go in the ear canal and look at the eardrum. So if you want something that's all in one system, then this definitely would be a great choice here. And it definitely feels quite professional, so it would do very well at an office or even at home. If you wanted to have something more serious, then this would do the job very well. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button. If you want to pick up this autoscope for yourself, I'm going to have some links in the description, so check those out. And if you enjoy videos like this and you're not subscribed, and hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.